Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake, partake of, Christ, of Christ, His sufferings, sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with, with His grace, and receive the pledge of the glory, the glory which is, is to be ours. We give them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, we give us the Eucharist as the memory of your suffering and death. May our worship this sacrament of your body and blood. Help us to experience the salvation you want for us. In the peace of the kingdom, we you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For whom you did marry to bear. Alleluia. As reason, as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is very risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, give, give joy, joy to, to the world, world to, the to the resurrection of, of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, you may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God, God despise not, not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. We have a glorious and blessed Virgin, Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you that, meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over His household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives, holy, holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Mother Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Friday in the third week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips, and, and my mouth shall, shall declare your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord, the Lord is, risen. is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with grace and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The, the Lord, Lord is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The, the Lord, Lord is risen. risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is risen. Alleluia. Please be seated. Lord, wash away my guilt. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. 
for in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness, show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ bore our sins in his own body as he hung upon the cross. Alleluia. <clears throat> Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, look those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest, for age in a land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion loathsome to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for a feast to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not, disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Alleluia. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal is merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for the letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. 
There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles kings and children of Israel, and I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. He got up and was baptized, and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please stand. eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. 
These things has he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po mga kapatid. Tulad ng marami sa inyo, ako po ay isang pilgrim dito sa ating Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, the Shrine of Apo Bakit. There is a writer by the name of Gilbert Keith Chesterton who asked the question, when you enter the church next to the tabernacle, what is the holiest thing that you can find? Maliban daw po sa tabernakulo kung saan makikita natin ang presensya ni, ng ating Panginoon sa banal na Eucharistia, ano ba ang sunod na makikita nating pinakabanal sa loob ng simbahan? Marahil sasabihin ng ilan ang altar. Sapagkat ang altar, it represents Christ. And during this Easter season, perhaps many of you will refer to the Easter candle which represents Christ, the light of the world. Pero sabi po ni Chesterton, when you enter the church next to the tabernacle, the holiest thing that you can find is your seatmate, yung katabi raw po ninyo. Marahil mahirap tanggapin yan, lalong-lalo na kapag sinulya pa ninyo ang inyong katabi, na sa halip na makita na ninyo ang Diyos, ang nababanggit siguro ninyo ay, Diyos ko po, ano ba naman ito? But it tells us a profound truth that Christ is present in us. The altar represents Christ. The Easter candle represents Christ. But the tabernacle contains the presence of Christ in the Holy Eucharist. And all of us, the baptized, we are also bearers. We are not just representatives. We are bearers of the presence of Christ. And we receive the presence of Christ when our souls were configured when we were to Christ when we were baptized. And this is the experience of St. Paul in the first reading for today. He was out there persecuting the Christians, the followers of the way. And then on the way to Damascus, he had this profound experience. It was an experience of a great light that made him blind, paradoxically, a light, a strong light that blinded him. And that momentary blindness was very important for him to look inward, to see how the Lord is working His grace within him. And then the realization, when he asked the voice that spoke to him, he asked the question, Who are you? But the reply of the voice was not about who he is, but where he is. Because the reply was, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. In other words, Jesus revealed where he is. He is present among the Christians. He is present in the Christians because he is Emmanuel. He is the God who is among us, the God who is with us. And that opened the eyes of Paul. He discovered the Lord Jesus. He recognized the Lord Jesus. Not just as the risen one who is already with the Father in heaven, but also Jesus present among his followers, present among the baptized, present 
among us. And that is why that light of Christ opened his eyes, not just to who Jesus is, but where Jesus is. In the ancient church, the term for baptism was illumination. Because when we were baptized, our candles were lighted from the Paschal candle. It is a light that comes from Christ which enables us to see the presence of Christ in our world. Mga kapatid, ilang araw na lang ay election na. Hindi ko sasabihin kung sino ang dapat ninyong iboto. Kaya lang kung minsan nakakalungkot, may nakikita akong mga pila sa mga bahay ng mga politiko. Uh, binibigyan daw sila ng regalo. Kaya nga, kung minsan nakakalungkot na kapag ka-eleksyon, isa sa mga tanong na maririnig natin ay magkano ka? Masakit yun. Magkano ka? Kapag ka tinanong ninyo ang inyong mga sarili, magkano nga ba ako? Siguro sasabihin ng ilan, I am priceless without any price or beyond any price. And I hope that is not just our response. I am priceless. According to St. Peter in his letter, he said, We were bought at a price. We were bought by the body and blood of Christ. That is our price. That is our worth the body and blood of Jesus. That is why in this Eucharistic celebration, we heard from the gospel that whoever receives the body and blood of Christ participates in his life. Be we become partakers of eternal life, the life of the risen Christ. So when we receive the Holy Eucharist, we must be reminded how much we are worth. We are worth the body and blood of Christ. But it must also open our eyes, like the eyes of Paul were opened by that light. We must open our eyes to the truth, to the reality, that it is not just us who were bought by the body and blood of Christ, our neighbors, people we see around us, they have the same worth. They have the same price, the body and blood of Christ. Kaya nga kahit yung mga taong ayaw ninyong batiin o yung mga taong parang napakahirap mahalin, we must remember that they too are worth the body and blood of Christ. Kaya nga mga kapatid, kapag kami mga tao hindi mo kayang patawarin o mga tao hindi mo kayang kausapin o kapag ka ikaw ay galit na galit, pumunta ka sa simbahan. Come to the church. In silence and in prayer, look at the tabernacle. Look at the cross and remember that is how much we are worth. But that is also the worth of the person you don't like. That is also the same worth of the person you dislike or detest or even hate. The body and blood of Christ. And so as we celebrate this body of Christ in this Eucharist, as we adore the body and blood of Christ in this Eucharist, as we receive Christ in Holy Communion, let us thank Him for His great gift of Himself, the gift of His abiding presence. But let us also ask for the grace that like St. Paul, our eyes may be open so that we may see the presence of Christ in our brothers and sisters. And sometimes, we must have compassion 
so that we can see that presence. When Pope Francis came to the Philippines, when he was speaking with the young people, a young girl, Glissel, asked the Holy Father, Holy Father, how come there are children like me who suffer and who are abandoned? And then Glissel cried. And then the Holy Father, departing from the script, so to speak, said, Glissel showed us an important lesson. Sometimes we can only see clearly through eyes cleansed by tears. Compassion cures our blindness. And compassion must be based on this. Christ is present in all of us, especially in those who suffer. And when our eyes are open, perhaps we can also say with Thomas, who touched the wounds of Christ, my Lord and my God. Please stand. The Father gives us His own Son as real food and real drink at this altar. We can ask Him for all our needs in Christ, the source of new life. For every petition we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may grow in appreciation of the Eucharist as the bread of life by celebrating the sacrifice of the Mass with greater devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace through the constant reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in, our, in their faith by uniting their sufferings with the suffering of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may have the eternal life promised by Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you gave us the body and blood of your Son as food and drink for our journey. Grant that through our union with him, we may be united with one another as members of his body. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this bread to offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, all the clergy, the religious, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, Saint Catherine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Brothers and sisters, behold Jesus in the Eucharist. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Dear brothers and sisters, as we pray this prayer for the elections, let us discern in our hearts are the people who approximate the Lord Jesus, who have the heart of a good shepherd. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy of fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me and I in him. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood shall live in me, and I in him. Alleluia. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your, son, what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, 
they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. If we have articles of devotion and rosaries, we will bless them now. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.